We just got our hands on the Pixel 3 XL and we're excited to compare basically every aspect of this phone to Apple's iPhone XS Max. In this video, we'll be comparing benchmarks to see if Google's new flagship can keep up in terms of performance. But first, let's talk about the specs. The Pixel 3 is packing the same old Snapdragon 845 chip that came in the Galaxy Note 9 with the same Adreno 630 GPU and a slightly slower octa-core processor. It's also got 4 gigs of RAM, just like the iPhone XS Max, which comes with Apple's latest A12 Bionic chip, which is now topping the charts of benchmarks everywhere. So let's get right into the benchmarks with the original Geekbench 4 CPU test. In single core, the iPhone XS Max is getting more than double the score of the Pixel 3. Now I wasn't expecting that big of a difference. In multi-core, the difference isn't as big, but the XS Max easily beat the Pixel 3 with a 40% higher score. Now for the graphics test, the XS Max again topped Google's flagship with a 61% higher score. This is going to be huge for any graphics intensive loads like rendering or gaming, which we'll be doing very soon in a Fortnite gaming comparison, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Next up is Antutu's graphics intensive benchmark. The Pixel 3 XL scored quite well, but it couldn't even compare to the iPhone XS Max's score. Looking at the detailed results, the iPhone beat the Pixel 3 in every test except for the memory test, which is surprising since they've both got 4 gigs of RAM. Now moving on to Antutu's HTML5 test, the XS Max scored around 35% higher than the Pixel 3. Not as big of an improvement as we've seen so far, but it's still pretty huge. These scores that we're seeing on the XS Max are so far higher than we've ever seen on any phone. Now onto Octane 2.0, another browser benchmark, the difference is massive. The XS Max is scoring almost three times higher than the Pixel 3, showing just how optimized Apple's browser is. Now we're not sure why Google's flagship scored so poorly in this test, but we're impressed by the iPhone. For our final test, we ran GFX Bench OpenGL's 1080p Manhattan off-screen test. Again, we saw a significantly higher score on the XS Max, 120 frames per second compared to 83 on the Pixel. Based on all of these results, there's no doubt that the XS Max is the superior device in terms of performance. The Google Pixel 3 is scoring worse than the Galaxy Note 9 on a few of these tests, and the Note 9 barely saw an improvement over Samsung's S9 Plus. We've got much more Google Pixel 3 XL versus iPhone XS Max content coming up soon, including camera comparisons, a speaker comparison, a Fortnite gaming comparison, and more. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.